streak is over. Van wins for the second time this season in Formula E. <laughs> That's it, baby. It's a picture that needs no caption for fans of motorsport everywhere. With eight different winners from the first eight races of the season, nothing compares with Formula E. We are ready for qualifying here at round nine, the Monaco e Prix. Here comes jean eric Van, the last man in Super Pole. Roland on Provisional Pole won't get it because he's got a three-place grip penalty. Our current champion, he wants another championship. He's got to get back up into the fight. And he's five thousandths away from Roland, but crucially still ahead of Mitch Evans. It's all about whether Vern can be quicker than Mitch Evans. Is it going to be enough? Yes, it is. Yes! So Vern will start on pole in Monaco. And can this be the race where he manages to get himself really up into championship contention? I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Obviously, uh, you know, I was I had the, the, the Delta lap time and I knew it was uh, yeah, going to be a good one. So I'm very happy with uh, today's uh, performance. I believe I'm going to start on pole. So, yeah. Super uh, good start of the day. Good afternoon, everybody. And it is Jean-Eric Verne, the reigning champion, but the man who is sixth in the championship standings at the moment, who's in prime position to take a win. This is an iconic circuit, surely. This is the trophy that you want sat on top of your mantelpiece at home. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I, I, you know, I didn't get Paris uh, this year, so the, the second most wanted trophy is obviously Monaco. And uh, yeah, you know, the race in Formula E is always tough, always difficult, uh, but uh, Monaco is a hard track to overtake. We, had a, we have a very good car this weekend, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. Just need a good start and a clean race. It's Monaco. Everybody wants to win, but you're in championship contention. You're the current champion. How much risk will you take today? What, what, what is the priority? Winning here or staying in the championship? Obviously, both would be nice. Well, I mean, if you look from my point of view, I don't have much risk to take. It's more the other ones. Pole position on the left-hand side, it is Jean-Éric Verne for the DS to Cheetah team. Alongside him on the front row, the red, white and blue Mahindra of Pascal Wehrlein. All five lights are on. And we go green in Monaco. Good start from Verne. Decent start from Roland as he tries to get up the inside. He said he wanted to lunge it at turn one. I think he was joking. And he's been fairly sensible into the first corner of Sandabot. Then they'll start cascading down the hill towards the hairpin right-hander. And Roland is under a bit of pressure here. But when he goes to the inside, it's three wide. But when he very sensibly gets out of it, Felipe Massa trying to get around the outside. Everybody safely through the first three corners, which is good to see. But Jean-Eric Vern leads. Verline second. Roland third. Fourth is Massa. Fifth is and he's sixth is Alexander Sims, so no change at the opening corner in the front runners. This is when Jean-Eric Byrne, our leader, is at his most dangerous. When he is out front leading a race, he can control the race from there. Byrne ahead of Verline. The top two, the Tachita and the Mahindra. Then it's Roland in third, who has the fastest lap of the race at the moment. And uh, as I say that, it's taken away by Jean-Eric Byrne. Oh, lock up from Verline, he's thrown it away! Verlaine goes straight on at Sandabot and up into second place now goes Oliver Rowland. Felipe Massa goes past him as well. Sebastian Buemi's going to try and get the dummy, but he can't quite get it done. Vern leads, Rowland second, Massa third now. Vern is looking very, very strong at the front of this field. Gap two seconds. You heard it from the engineer. Across the line they come. Vern leads. The gap's down to six tenths of a second up the front. He had built a gap up to two seconds, but now Oliver Rowland in the Nissan is right behind him. Felipe Massa in the Venturi is right behind him, and Pascal Verlein's there as well. What is going on with Verne? Is there a... I'm lovely to know, but is there an issue? Two laps to go then. The penultimate lap of the Monaco e of 2019 being started by Verne, and Rowland was super late on the brakes into Sandovot. Four for the lead with two laps to go. And here's the look. Roland tried to get him to the outside, but he couldn't do it. Verlein tries to go to the outside of Massa, but he couldn't do it. Here we come down into Sandabot. This is the final lap of the race. Vern leading, but he is only a Look matter of three tenths of a second ahead. Verlein to the outside. Can't do it. And he's hit him again as two laps in the row. He's just giving him a little Roland's tap. Roland's so close. Coming down into turn three for the lead of the race. But Vern just covering the inside. That was contact oh, no. between third and fourth, that noise you heard. Surely that's it now for Jean-Eric Vern. There's no more overtaking opportunities. Evans has got him into sixth place past Sam Bird. 
A couple more corners. Just Mass has only got one percent left, Jack. Mass is on one percent of usable energy. All right, Dario. Mass might not make it to the end of the E Prix. Vern's on one percent as well. Towards the final corner they come, crunching into the back. Verlaine goes for it. He can't do it. Vern comes out of the final corner. The streak is over. Vern wins for the second time this season in Formula E. That's it, baby. Win in Monaco. Right on. Oh, God, it feels good. Difficult season, a lot of up and down, but, uh, you know, this kind of wins makes uh, everything worth it. But it's the top step of the podium for the Frenchman in Monaco, Jean-Eric Verne, and the reigning champion is back at the top.